Hello and welcome back to another episode of Paul Plays TIS 100. So for this video, I'm going to be doing this one here, interrupt handler. Well, hopefully. So here is the problem. Um, read through in one, read from in one through in four, which are up here. Write the input number when the value goes from zero to one. And two interrupts will never change in the same input cycle so we're looking for these guys going from a zero to a one and when one of them does we write the number whichever one did down here so you know it's only from a zero to a one so if it's in a one and we get another one that doesn't count we don't want to you know um there are plenty of them which are one at the same time um so I need to know whether each one, what state it's in, like whether it's in a zero or a one state, and then depending on what I find coming in, I need to act appropriately. So to do that, I think I am going to model the state just in the program. So we're in either. So what I mean by that is I'm not going to try and record the state and compare it to it and do. It. I'm just going to say we start off in state zero here and i move up to an accumulator i want to compare that now so i'm in zero so the only thing i want to know is have i got a one so jump on not zero to let's say changed Otherwise, I've got a zero. Now the question is, do I have to put something out each time? Um, yeah, let's say I will. Let's say, you know, if I'm in a zero and it's unchanged, I'm going to bang out a zero. Okay. Otherwise, I'm going to bang out the number. So in this case, I'm going to bang out one. Bang out. That's not very technical, is it? Right. Okay. So jump on that. So otherwise, I'm going to move zero. Well, moving zero to down and jump. That's the unconditional jump. Always jump back to zero. So I'm still in my zero state. This is my change state where I go to when it's just changed. So it's just changed. Someone has just called me and the only way I can get to here is if it's changed. And by changed, I really mean changed from a uh, a zero to a one. So I'm going to move one to down. And that's pretty much it. Then let's say I'm in my one. Then I, if I fall into my one state. So my one state, what does it do? I've got to move up. So I wait for the next one. And if it's a zero. So I'm in the one state. So no matter what happens in a one state. So I've just, I'm in a one state, I've just read a value. The, nothing, I can never trigger it. I never can trigger an interrupt if I'm in a one state. So, the, so I'm going to move uh, zero to down. Now, depending on what I've just seen, so I have whatever I just value in the um, accumulator. Um, I've thrown a zero down there now. So if it's now zero, I want to jump to my zero label. Otherwise I'm jumping back to my one label. Wow. Okay. So that looks so you can copy and paste. So control C, control V, control V, control V. The only difference I want to do is I want, instead of this being a one, and letting the other one figure it out. I'm actually going to put the number that changed 
down here, three and four. So, what happens here? Whatever value here, I'm, this is where I need to get the output eventually. So whatever happens here, I'm just going to move it. Move up to right. Now, because they can't, two of them can't change in the one cycle, I should only ever, if, if this is working correctly, each one should give me one number greater than zero and the rest zeros, or in effect, or um, all zeros, which doesn't matter. So in theory, I should just be able to add all these together. I, I don't need to treat them as like a sort of um, a logic gate, an and them, or anything like that, a logical and, or a, a, bit, sorry, a bitwise and. I can just start um, adding these together because addition looks like it'll work. So if I was to move left to the accumulator, and add up. And move accumulator to the right. So this guy in effect gets this one and this one which has come down here, adds the two of them together again. It should, should have just been adding something to a zero or two zeros together. Um, and move them on to here. So this one, move So let's just pass this down, move up to left. Move, let's say, up to the accumulator. Add what's in the left, add what's in the right. And move accumulator down. And finally, move up to down. Why am I keep forgetting to put comma? I don't think you actually need commas. Do you? No, you don't. Oh, yes. So, yeah, that's running fine, isn't it? Um, so basically, what I'm doing, again, just, just to highlight it in case, I don't know if people who aren't maybe coders or whatever, um... The state, like, whoop, whoop, hello, return, continue editing this segment. Yes, the state I'm managing in the code. So I'm, so I'm saying this zero, when I'm running this bit of code here, I know the code knows, it's in fact built into the program that I have zero. And I'm presuming that these programs start off in a zero state. The code loops here whilst it continues to find ones. It only gets into this when it's changing. The only thing that ever sends it into this change state is when it was in a zero and finds a one and then falls into the one state. But when it's in a one state and finds a zero, it just jumps back to the zero state. So basically, whilst it's finding zeros, it stays here. It does a run through here, gets into one, spit keeps whilst it's finding ones. And when it eventually finds a zero, falls back here and then could loop in here. So that's how they work then this all works just by, I've already converted which line I'm in to a number because each of these programs is slightly different. It differs by that one number there. And then all this stuff has to do is add them together. Now, I want, let me just run that. So that was 203 cycles, I think. It seems to be a little bit, I don't know, laggy or something. Yeah, 203 cycles. Continue editing this segment. So it's just as I was looking at this. Um, logically, what, the way I'm thinking about it is here. When I'm in the one state, I move up to the accumulator and move zero to down. But I wonder what would happen if I split, if I move them the other way around. Move zero to down. 
Because it's almost as if like this is predestined. We can never ever do anything once we're in this state except move zero to down. We just run that. No, made no difference at all. Because I was just wondering would um would this get this one moving on quicker but it has to wait it is blocking here so i'm going to move this back anyway we have we have the other code there so it doesn't really matter anyway i was just messing around okay um hope you enjoyed this if you did please drop a like on the video that would be much appreciated if you like what you see please subscribe to the channel any comments love to hear from you thanks again for watching bye now